So cooking pot and beaker on the campfire. We still need a little grill, but I think the grill we can make. Just need a bit of iron and clay. Easy. So do that. That'll be done. And then we've got everything for the campfire. We can make everything with it. We learned how to do the bacon and eggs, which I think I already knew how to do it. I don't need to the brook, but oh well. Um, so we can do that with the eggs and raw meat, which I'll go ahead and do because I remember that being a pretty okay recipe. Uh, two minutes worth of fuel. Sure. Go for it. And the rest of my stuff. Um, what a mess. I'm gonna have to get like a mods area and the rebar frame blocks. I don't know what I'm doing with those. The junk turrets. I don't know. 36 stamina, 18 health, 4% chance of food poisoning. Which, you know what? I'll have one now. Yeah, food's looking good, water's looking okay, so we're set with that. I've also got the grill that I can put on, allowing me to then do the grilled meat, which is also a cool thing, which I'll do some of, because why not? Minute 30? Perfect. Go for it. So that's a bunch of food waiting for me when we get back. I need to do repair kits to repair the hunting knife, though I don't know if I will. We can make a rank 3 one currently because I got the talent for that. We're going to head back to the trader to unload some stuff. Need to quickly grab the murky water so I can use the chemistry station when I'm there. Turn in the quest, sell some stuff, see what he's got because it's day 4 so he's restocked. Oh man, we don't have a whole lot of time either. I was doing that mission for a while. A lot of good stuff, but man, it, it takes a long time to do. A really long time. Oh yeah, repair kits are really easy to do. One forged iron and one duct tape. That's no problem. So yeah, doing this for the duct tape, holy shit. Super duper worth doing. Because we need to make a lot of that. Like, a whole bunch. Because I want to have just a shitload of repair kits so I never have to worry about that again. 9,000 experience, 670 casino tokens. We can choose from a standard wooden bow, which is a pretty okay upgrade. Three more damage, 14 more velocity with the projectiles, and a lot more durability. Or the iron boots, which honestly, I think I'm going to stick with the padded stuff. I think I'd go for the wooden bow. Like, they're both, they're both not great, but man, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go for that. That seems fine. Forge steel. Oof. Jeez, imagine having to buy that 100 per. That's per steel. Fucking hell. No, we can make some pretty easily. Some duct tape though he's got. Tempting. A reflex sight mod. There's some of the padded stuff. And food and scrap armor and like more proper clothing. He's also selling some glue. I'll take it. I'll take as much as I can get. Buckets, I don't think we care about. And secret stash. The forgetting elixir. 40,000 cost. It resets your skill points, though. Um, so it's like a good, uh, cool respec type thing. Which we'll probably be needing down the road. An iron fire axe. Really good block damage for wood. Like, phenomenally good. The mining helmet, so we get a bit of night on top of the protection. Maybe. Shotgun Messiah. Shotguns do more damage. Um, I want to sell the Fireman Almanac and the money, bringing me to 693 tokens, which isn't great. But I can't complain too much. Junk turret parts, the batter up. Knock down power attacks, increase the chance of knocking down the enemy. Cool if you're going for sledgehammers and stuff, and that, that's about it. Okay. Increased durability on a melee weapon or tool. I could maybe do that for the uh, for the knife. Oh, do you have a mod slot? Uh, thank you, kind sir. You do have a mod slot. Hmm. Kind of tempting. But... We'll get a job real quick first before the, uh, he closes. Buried supplies. 
Mm. Yeah, all right, fine. Fine. Thank you very much. Fine. It's easy enough. And the glue. Almost done. 30 more seconds. And then we can make more duct tape. I think I'm going to go for living off the land level 2 when I can. Because it makes farm plots a bit, a bit cheaper to craft. 30% less to craft them. And we can make seeds for flowers and decorative plants. And then with farmer we can do seeds from berries and vegetables. So really we'd be wanting 5 fortitude. Which, I mean, that's not a terrible thing to have either. Like, that that's okay. They do... I think it's it's weird, like, you think leveling fortitude to give you more health or something, but I think it's just, like, more headshot damage and dismember stuff for all of them? I don't know, not quite. We generally do more headshot damage with a specific... I think it reads a bit oddly. We're dealing 220% headshot damage with some batons, and also have a 15% chance to dismember with some batons, and also junk turrets. So for me, for agility, that'd be bows, handguns, and knives. We'd be wanting that to do more of that. But we're going to go ahead and do fortitude anyway to get the living off the land, because not being able to have a farm right now sucks, because it's like, I don't know, it's a little bit like wasted time. God. <sighs> Okay, thank you, Trader Joel. Jesus Christ. I don't know, I guess it's a little bit too early to start thinking about growing stuff and getting a farm going, but I'd like to have it sooner than later because it feels a little bit like wasted time currently, you know? You know what I should have grabbed is light armor, actually. Oops. Ah, oh, well. Because this will allow me to make the level 2 light armor, which counts for the padded stuff. But, okay, it also unlocks leather armor crafting. Which could be kind of cool. So maybe I... Maybe I wait? Yeah, leather. Leather stuff. Well... Alright. That's also something for down the road. Uh... I guess I keep what I've got on? I got iron boots on still. I'd like to not. So, padded boots? Padded boots. It's in shit quality, but it'll work. And we can also do armor, gloves, hood, leg. Yeah, may as well do... May as well do the chest also then. There. So we're, we're at least decently protected a bit, and it's nice and quiet stuff too. Yeah, it's, it's not a whole lot, but it works. It does the job. And the iron boots, we store away. I'm keeping the leg armor too, because if I end up having to put on heavy armor just for like, super duper tankiness, then, you know, so be it. Going ahead and spending some of my materials to make some steel arrowheads. Not that I'm really good with archer or anything like that, but the steel arrowheads will... I'm pretty sure I can make steel arrows right off the bat. Maybe it requires something special? Oh uh, yeah, it's locked. Okay. Cancel! Stop! Scrap it! We have to go with iron arrowheads, which is fine. Um, but I figure like we may as well just so we have a slightly better ammo to use for the bow. Especially if we're going to be hunting boars and all that stuff. Where's... Iron arrowhead. That's the one. Maybe like 40 again. Because then I can just scrap my current arrows and we've got that. So yeah, for boar hunting and everything, that'll be a lot nicer because the sneak attack with that will be pretty good. I'm also making in my inventory. Ah, we already made it. A new knife. So we have the rank 3 knife now instead of rank 2. And the rank 2 in comparison to 3, the 3 does one more power attack damage. But a lot more durability. Which is always cool, because I don't want to be spending repair kits all the time on this stuff. But hanging on to the old thing, just in case, you never know. Repair kits, we just... That's just something we hang on to now. The splints, I... Whoops, don't think I need? Not on me, at least. Well, actually, on me would be... Actually, the, the best spot for it. I guess we hang on to it. 
and the bed back down. At some point, I should see about making like an actual proper bed. I need the workbench to do that. Not that it really does a whole lot, just looks a bit nicer though. Yeah, down the road. We've also got a bit of rock stirred away inside the forge, so we can make some cement with that. And then we put that into a cement mixer and combine that with, I think, clay? I'm not really sure. Something. And we can make the uh, concrete mix. Ah, yeah, sand and, sand and more stone. So stone, sand, and stone to make this concrete mix, which we use then for the um, improving this stuff. Well, improving this stuff, more like. I could also see about making like a fire axe and all that. I think I could do that. Yeah, 40 iron for that, and then leather duct tape wood, of course. And then shovel. Yeah, steel's, steel's locked behind a schematic thing. But yeah, we can make, uh, we can do a lot of that stuff. We just need to get a lot more forged iron, which we are working on. Filling both smelting slots with iron so it pounds to the iron really quickly. Best way to do it as far as I know. Okay. And bow. We want iron arrows. Can I make the iron shovel since we're about to do the digging quest anyway? Then, whoops, duct tape, leather, and wood. Leather. Shovel. Yo, well, it'll take two and a half, well, almost three minutes to do, but, uh, oh well. And if you have a workbench, that's nice because you can then do the crafting inside the workbench and it'll just, like, queue it up in the workbench inventory and it'll just pop on and be ready for you when you're ready for it. It's kind of nice to do for some of the longer end things, like... I don't know, like iron doors, if you're making a bunch of them, just queue it up and you don't have to worry about it. Also, I'd like a claw hammer, because that'll replace the actual stone axe that I've got, and then I would need an actual proper axe for chopping down trees down the road. But it looks like... I need a little more iron for that. Good. Okay, cool. And the claw hammer also upgrades significantly faster, so that's going to be really nice for making all this into cement and all that down the road. But for now, let's, uh... Yeah, I guess we just, we get to move on real quick with the quest, and see what happens. Yoink! Found a little nice little uh, mobile home type thing with a police sedan in it. A very upset lady, a destroyed workbench. Lamo. How's that feel? Hey, there we go. A loot bag. Like I said, you can't really miss them when they happen. Money, food, and cowboy boots. Uh, I'd like mine more, but cool. Can probably scrap it to leather. Destroyed workbench has. Hey, workbench schematic. I'll take it. It's really easy to learn to do, but, uh, oh well. Five lock picks, lead fishing weights, and brass candlestick. We'll ignore those. And that's... Hmm, I guess that doesn't have physics. That is a, um, just like, cement stuff. Okay. Cool. Not really why I came here, but... Awesome. Really tempted to look indoors. Really tempted. But I'm gonna resist. But it's really tempting. Like, so tempting. What is this? Oh, just a shower makeshift thing. Great. Okay. Nah, yeah, let, let's go. Ah, nice. The shovel's done. So the shovel is seven more block damage and a shitload more durability. Doesn't sound like a whole lot, but hey, it matters. Because it doesn't take a whole lot for there to be just a difference between one and two hits against the ground. Especially the topsoil, because the topsoil is a little bit healthier than the rest. 
so it can save me a bunch of time. And the claw hammer is done too. Which does repair amount plus 250. Blammo. Hugely better. Which also applies for upgrading too. Like, oh my god. That, that's kind of a game changer really with upgrades. You wouldn't think it matters much, but when you're upgrading blocks, like... It's gonna be on the mountain, isn't it? When you're upgrading like an entire fortress worth of blocks and everything like that, it it really saves you a bunch of time. Uh, it looks like I might be on the other side of this, thankfully. We'll just really carefully. Uh, yeah, we're okay. It turns out there's more desert over here too. Found it near the edge, like usual. Grab it and run. You can see they literally just pop in out of nowhere. Shouldn't be too bad to take out though. get one bit. No, yeah, well. So what all did we get? A glass jar. Uh, hobo stew. The bacon and eggs recipe. Some canned goods. Steak and potato meal recipe. Sure. And looks like a bit of honey too, which is cool. Oh, only 5% cure infection. Okay. A lot worse than I thought. But uh, we can accumulate that. That's not so bad. And yeah, people always recommend I can like search trunks and all that stuff to find some honey in it, but a lot of the trunks aren't lootable. Very few of them actually are. You typically find that kind of stuff out in the winter biomes as far as I know. Where all the snow is, because then yeah, you see like a, an empty trunk and you can loot it and yeah, sometimes there will be honey in there. It can be kind of a mix of a lot of stuff, but yeah, it's a, it's a good way to get honey. It's a good thing to accumulate down the road. And then if ever you get an infection, just real quick chug a honey and it's fine. As long as you grab it early, it's it's no problem. Then you don't have to worry about antibiotics at all. Although, at the same time, you can eventually just make antibiotics down the road, so it's... Uh, I don't know. It, it's it's a thing, though. Herbal antibiotics or a rank 2 stun baton? I think we go with herbal antibiotics. There we are. 10% that reduces it by... Still doing tier 1 quests. Shouldn't be a whole lot longer before we get some tier 2 ones, and there's a whole lot of buried supplies still. I'm a little bit tempted to go for the fetch quest down on the southeast 540 because that means going into a house, which means a lot of really cool loot. Um, I think I just keep banging out some buried supplies though, honestly. You kindly help me. It's rare to find I went right away to this stash, so our inventory is a little bit full. I'm sort of assuming it's going to have a lot of the food stuff that I've already got in it. Uh, kind of. I mean, let's take that. It seems like they don't spawn until I actually loot the right river supplies. So we are okay to do a bit. I guess we'll do... We'll just use the Mega Crush? These cobblestone rocks we can drop. The three iron we can drop. What the hell? The eleven lead, I guess I'll drop that too. A single bottle, we'll drop all that, that's fine. Um, I think the Mega Crush I end up... ...taking though. So we can actually like move at a decent rate because fighting like this is gonna suck ass. Whatever you need, a rank two wooden bow way. or four vitamins. I'll take the rank two wooden bow. Yeah. Wait. How's that work? Why is this one better? That can't be right. I'm taking the bow. Why are you better? 
That sounds like you have modifiers on. Strange. I wonder if it's because it's loaded with iron ammo that it's like... Taking that into account? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. So, get rid of this old bow. This new bow we keep. Many thanks. You've proved to be very oh. resourceful. Here's your pay. We're about tier one. So we're finished up with tier one stuff. We can move on to tier two stuff. There's an arrow rest mod. Improves bow accuracy. Whoa. Or Night Stalker Volume 5. Archery. Bows do 10% more damage at night. I'll take the Arrow Rust mod. That sounds great. And maybe tomorrow he has Tier 2 stuff? I don't know. I have that. That brings us up to plus 2 damage, but... I'm not sure how that goes for accuracy. I'm not sure. Hard to say. It's all still tier one, huh? Maybe tomorrow it'll finish up. We should be getting tier two stuff though pretty soon. Uh, do let's do that fetch quest to the southeast in an old west coal factory. Hmm. All right. Did you change your secret stash for anything by chance? Doesn't really look like it. And do I have anything to sell? Doesn't really look like it. Man, we got a lot of money, though. Good god. A triple storage pocket mod? Plus three carry capacity. Hmm. That's nice. That will reduce the amount of encumbrance thoughts that I can have maximum. Because currently we have like 15 encumbrance. If I had plus three, that'd only be 12 encumbrance. And 12 encumbrance is a lot nicer than 15 encumbrance. So, a little bit tempting, honestly. But it doesn't look like anything else here is really, like, new or fancy, so I think we... Be seeing you. Head out, then. And, woo, don't jump off there. And unload gear at home. Well, shit, there we go. I found a leather duster instead of a weathered backpack. Yoink! That's good. Dusters are fantastic. 14 cold resist, 20 heat resist. Like, holy shit. That's fucking good. So now we got... I guess it doesn't... Tell me. 32 cold resist, 37 heat resist. I don't really know if that's like super great or cool or not, but... Uh, well, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. 